sometimes you need to create a shape like the triangle ABC here in a coordinate plane and we can do that in our calculators so always want to start off with a new document so we don't have any other stuff in there and what you want to do is you want to go to graphs because the graph is the coordinate plane itself now remember my operating system is going to look different than yours what you want to do is you want to plot your points. You want to plot point A, you want to plot point B, and you want to plot point C. And to do so, we're going to come over here to menu, and you're probably going to find geometry, and then you want to find points and lines. Now, I'm going to put in point, and you can put points anywhere. We could just click on them. But that's going to be really tough if we're trying to put points in special places. If you go up here, it says click the location or enter the coordinates. And that's what we're going to do. I have the coordinates over here, 2, 2, 2, 8, and 7, 2. To enter the coordinates, we open up the parentheses. We type the first coordinate. We hit enter. We type the second coordinate. We hit enter. And there's the point, 2, 2. Now, we're still in the point menu, so we just do it again. So I want to put 2, 8. So open parentheses, 2, enter, 8, enter. There it is. And now I want to put 7, 2 as my last point. Open the parentheses, 7, enter, 2, enter. And now I have my three points. So now I don't want any more points, so I'm going to hit escape. But I want to change the window. And since all of this, the three points that I'm dealing with are in the first quadrant, I'm going to go to Menu, go to Windows and Zoom, and I'm going to move down here to Quadrant 1. Hit Quadrant 1, there are my three points. Now, we can hit menu and you can go to actions and if you go down to actions and you hit coordinates and equations you can actually plot the coordinates there's 2 8 there's 7 2 then there's 2 2 I'll put that right over there and so now we have our three points but we want a triangle and in order to get the triangle, we're going to have to create segments that are going to connect these points. Now, I'm going to do this in two ways. First way, with points and lines, I'm going to create segments. And I'm going to just connect this point to this point. There's one of them. Connect that point to that point. There's one of them. Connect this point to this point. There's one of them. So I've created my triangle this way. I'm also going to create, well, let's just keep it with that. Now, let's escape out of those. Now I have a triangle. I can calculate everything that I want to know about a triangle. I can measure the lengths of the sides. That one's six units. That one's five units. That one's 7.81 units. I can measure the angles. If I measure these three points, I get 90 degrees. Use these. I'll move that in a second. And I want to get this angle. So I get 39.8, escape out of that. I want to move that up here. And we can measure whatever we need to. Now, if I want to measure an area, let me go up here. Click on an object. And unfortunately, there's nothing here. Well, that's the problem. If I wanted the area of this triangle just by measuring, I can't do it. 
but one of the things that I can do is I can create a shape over this. I know I'm going to get a triangle, and if I draw the triangle just over these three points, now that I have a shape of a triangle, and not just a bunch of segments that are connected together, what I can do is I can calculate the area of the triangle. And 15 units squared. The U is for units. So I can calculate a bunch of the different things. So this is a really helpful way when we're inside of a coordinate system. Now, one of the cool things that we can get from this also is that we can figure out the equations of the lines that are going to make these up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to escape out of this and I'm just going to start deleting things. Because these things are taking up way too much space. But you can always rewatch the video. It's okay. You can just rewatch the video and figure out how to do this. I'll have other videos up there as well. Now, if you want the lines, the equations of the lines that make up the triangle here, you can hit Menu, go to Actions, and go to Coordinates and Equations. And Well, nothing's happening. So, obviously there are no lines. So what we'll do is, we'll go to lines, and I'll put lines in there. Here's a line. It's going to go through that guy. There's a line. It's going to go through that guy. Here's a line. It's going to go through that guy. Now, I'll go to... Mm, go to coordinates and equations click this line, there's one line. Click this line, there's that line. Click that line, there's that line. I have the three lines that form this triangle. So everything that we can try to do, we can do in this calculator. Cool stuff.